The video you're about to see addresses the containment of leaks that could occur in chlorine cylinders. While leaks in these cylinders rarely occur, prompt corrective action by trained personnel using special equipment is required. The Chlorine Institute Emergency Kit A featured in this video contains the latest recommended additions and revisions. Note, this video also includes, for reference, instructions for A kits manufactured prior to January 2013. Refer to the Chlorine Institute's online bookstore for the most current information. The information in this video and the Chlorine Institute Emergency Kit A instruction booklet for 100 and 150 pound chlorine cylinders is drawn from sources believed to be reliable. Users must be aware that changing technology may require a change in the equipment or the instructions concerning their use. Appropriate steps should be taken to ensure that the material is current when used. This video is designed and intended solely to aid qualified instructors in providing training and not as a substitute for such training. For leaks, Kit A is not designed to stop. The Chlorine Institute recovery vessel is available. Current DOT regulations require the reporting of any release in transportation via Form 5800. All transportation releases, no matter the quantity, require reporting to DOT. Basically, if you can see, smell it, or hear it during transportation functions, it requires reporting to the DOT. You should be aware that there are federal, state, and local requirements for reporting releases and you must comply with all of them. Responding personnel must be trained to use the devices of Kit A, as well as the use of personal protective equipment and the use of chlorine and its properties. If a chlorine leak occurs, contact your supplier immediately. If further assistance is needed, activate Chlorep through Chemtrack in the United States. Assistance can also be provided by calling Canutec in Canada or Cetique in Mexico. Always work calmly, in pairs and under control. Work to do it right the first time. Leaks can usually be found using aqua ammonia vapors from a squeeze bottle partially filled with aqua ammonia solution that is a concentration of 5% to 30%. It is recommended to periodically check for leaks after kit installation because pressure will build up inside the hood. Make arrangements with your supplier immediately to dispose of any remaining chlorine in the cylinder. The Chlorine Institute Kit A is designed for use with standard approved chlorine cylinders only. The kit is not designed for, nor should be used on, a cylinder determined to be liquid full. Applying the kit to a liquid full container could result in an overpressure situation. Do not apply the kit until some product has been removed and pressure relieved. Contact your supplier in this situation. The kit contains special wrenches to ensure safe chlorine cylinder valve operation and application of the kit devices. Use only these wrenches. Kit A contains the tools and devices designed to contain leaks that may occur in and around the cylinder valve and in the cylinder sidewall. Some 100-pound and 150-pound chlorine cylinders are designed in such a manner that may make the application of the Chlorine Institute Emergency Kit A devices difficult or impossible. Some of these cylinders may have oversized neck rings that prevent proper placement of the hood when applying device 1. The kit devices also are unsuitable for stopping leaks around the cylinder shoulder, base, and foot ring areas. In all of these cases, the Chlorine Institute recovery vessel may be used. Note, optional equipment is available for Kit A. For a complete list, please see the Emergency Kit A instruction booklet or contact your supplier. One supplier of the Emergency Kit A is Indian Springs Manufacturing in Baldwinsville, New York. All parts of the Chlorine Emergency Kit A should be maintained in a ready-to-use condition. After every use, inspect all parts for damage, wear, and corrosion. Clean and thoroughly dry all parts used. 
Lubricate all movable parts with a non-reactive lubricant. Guidance about lubricants that are reactive to chlorine can be found in CI's pamphlet 164. All Viton gaskets are stamped with the date of manufacture and should be removed from emergency use after four years of shelf life. To ensure the Viton gaskets remain in ready-to-use condition, they should remain in the original packaging until needed for an emergency and should be routinely inspected for degrading conditions, such as those listed here, that would reduce the effectiveness of containing a leak. Replace gaskets showing evidence of any of these conditions. Note, old gaskets are often used for training purposes. They should be remarked accordingly to ensure they are never used in an emergency. The box should be sealed after each inspection, and these seals should be broken only by authorized persons or in case of an emergency. Many users coordinate the routine inspection with training drills. To maximize the effectiveness of this emergency kit, ensure that it's located in an area that provides easy access but offers protection from the weather. You cannot use it if you cannot get to it. Finally, it's better to prevent leaks than having to stop them. Stored cylinders and those in use should be inspected and tested for leaks on a routine basis. Kit owners should also be aware that several enhancements have been made to the Emergency Kit A. Please see the Chlorine Institute's online bookstore for the most current edition. All emergency kits should be maintained in complete and up-to-date condition. For information concerning kit enhancements or for replacement parts, please contact Indian Springs Manufacturing. Additional information concerning chlorine and its properties, emergency procedures, and personal protective equipment can be found in the publications available from the Chlorine Institute. For further information, please contact the Chlorine Institute. With proper use of the Chlorine Institute Emergency Kit A, potentially dangerous chlorine gas leaks can be safely and securely contained. <laughs>